All right. Okay, seatbelts are fastened. Fuel shutoff valve is on. Cyclic collector friction. Rotor brake is disengaged, circuit breakers are all in, car repeat is off, mixture is full rich, mixture guard installed, landing lights are off, avionic switches are off, clutch is disengaged, altimeter is set for field elevation, governor switch is on, been flown one, so I'm gonna give it one. Roll it to detent, verify closed. Battery strobe switches are on, very clear. Clear? You are. Helicopter pods under Papa, you up? Airport. Notices to airmen, multiple cranes in the vicinity of Hayward Airport. For further information, check NOTAM. Advise on initial contact, you have Juliet. Hayward Tower information, Juliet, 1850 Zulu, wind 250 at 7. Visibility 1-0, sky clear. Temperature 1-3, 2.7, altimeter 3003. Runway 28 left, RNAV, GPS approaching. Right, check. One one thousand, two one thousand, good. Hazardous weather advisory. One one thousand, two one thousand, good. Back to on flight service frequencies. Please caution for increased wildlife activity Perfect. and birds in the vicinity of Hayward Airport. Notices to airmen, multiple cranes in the vicinity of Hayward right, Airport. Perfect. For further information, check notums. Advise on initial contact, you have Juliet. Hayward Tower information, Juliet, 1850 Zulu, wind 250 at 7, visibility 10, sky clear. It doesn't split too good, does it? Well, the engine is nice and warm. If it'll show a little cleaner if you go from a higher RPM. Runway to around 80%. GPS approaching use, landing and departing, runway is 28. Oh, okay. Hazardous weather advisories for California and the coastal waters available on flight service frequencies. Use caution for increased wildlife activity and birds in the vicinity of Hayward Airport. Notices to airmen, multiple cranes in the vicinity of Hayward Airport. Refer 26, 23.5. Advise on initial contact, you have Juliet. Right, cycling. Hayward Tower information, Juliet, 1850 Zulu, wind. Okay, friction's off, Governor, on. Visibility 10, sky clear. 
Temperature 13, 2.7, altimeter 3003. Runway 28 left, RNAV, TPS approaching use, landing and departing, runways 28. Hazardous weather advisories for California and the coastal waters available on the frequency. Use caution for increased wildlife activity and birds in the vicinity of Hayward Airport. Notices to airmen, multiple cranes in the vicinity of Hayward Airport. For further information, check notum. Advise on initial contact, you have Juliet. All right. We have Juliet. Pattern two set. Well, let's ask for a right crosswind departure. Right. We'll head out and we'll just kind of run through all of our check ride maneuvers. Short approach. All right. Runway 28 right, clear for the option. Short approach, one way 28 right, clear for the option. 2275. Five-minute pop. Additional traffic and right close pattern is a Cessna making a short approach. Plan to pass behind. Oh, plan to pass behind. I got him inside. Go up the side. Five minute pop, that's the traffic right base. Yeah, copy, I see two targets up there. The plus for five minute pop, the traffic will be no factor. Appreciate the help. Uh, excuse me. Alpha Delta, clear to land. Alpha Delta, clear to land. Helicopter, five minute pop. Between Sierra traffic on uh, final taxi Alpha is a big uh, helicopter. We're going to left clear for the option. Looking for traffic, good left clear for the option on 33 Sierra. Sierra Tower, helicopter 479 or Sierra Hotel at Meridian requesting right crosswind departure with Juliet. Helicopter 479 or Sierra Hotel, here we tower, stand by. Stand by, 479 or Sierra. So two off kilo, follow the Cessna ahead of you. One number two, runway two, left clear for the option. Two left clear for the option, number two, one in off kilo. The three Zulu kilo traffic at the south pattern, two Cessnas. Hey, runway two eight right, clear to land. Uh, looking for the parallel traffic, clear to land two eight right, three Zulu kilo. I've got one of them in sight. Kilo traffic on final for the parallel runway is a additional assessment. Talking to myself up here. The 275, you're following assessment two and a half mile final number two, runway two a right, clear for the option. Two a right, uh, clear for the option number two, 275. Uh, where's that traffic? There's one on final for the parallel runway. The one you're following, I'll call you a beam. Roger. Put you off a kilo, you copy? Two off a kilo, go ahead. Two off a kilo, there's traffic ahead of you on final. This is for the parallel runway. Traffic, you're following a short final. Yeah, we have traffic for the parallel site, and uh, we have uh, traffic we'll follow independent follow one and double kill. Thank you. Chapter 2, Roger. Mm -hmm. 275, traffic to follow is approaching your right wing. We're made to your left. Uh, Correction to your right. Clear for the option number 2. Is that 275? 275, traffic to follow off your right hand side, number two, runway two right, clear for the option. Traffic in sight, number two, clear for the option two right, so sorry about that. Sorry. Alright, I'm going to tell you you're requesting a right crosswind with Juliet. Affirmative. I'm going to have you airborne in the next minute or two, it's waiting on ground to finish issuing his clearance. Thank you.
Doing side reference flying. Yeah, plus this way we could see who we're waiting on. Like this is the last one. Everybody wants to land at the same time. Apparently, yeah, I guess none of them are really staying in the pattern. Some of them are. Helicopter nine is Sierra Tail, Helper Taxi, two taxiway Zulu in hold position. Helper Taxi, Taxiway Zulu, hold position. Four seven nine Sierra Tail. Hey, we're Tower Baron one five five Sierra Tango, two, holding short of two eight left for release. That's three three three. He's here, right? Yeah. Send Allen, please be sure. Baron 1055, Sierra Tango, I have a target afternoon. Will you be on uh, Alpha Intersection or Alpha 1? I'm at Alpha right now. I can take Alpha 5, Sierra Tango. Baron 5, Sierra Tango, Roger, taxi up to and hold short 28 left at Alpha. Your clearance uh, release is on request. Roger, hold short of 28 left at Alpha 5, Sierra Tango. Three zero kilo, ground point four. Over to ground point four, three zero kilo, get it. Just hovering anyway. Mr. Kilo, extend down and follow Cessna ahead. Extend down and follow Cessna ahead. One and two kilo. That's kind of a busy day here today. Did I not do a clearing? Uh, turn five zero tango runway two eight left at Alpha. Clear for takeoff. I mean, if I'm on the two eight left, turn. if you turn and face there. that way, so yeah, you can look at the finals, that that qualifies. That's okay, right? I yeah. Mean, Helicopter 9 Sierra Tail, make a right cross and departure, clear of Charlie airspace, taxiway Zulu, clear for takeoff. Taxiway Zulu, clear for takeoff, remain under 1,500 doors, so three crosses, 439 Sierra Tail, thank you. Clear for the option. Clear, clear for the option. Runway two eight right. Two two seven five. Five Sierra Tango is still with you. Five Sierra Tango, contact NorCal. Sorry about that. Five Sierra Tango, good day. PTS, and the only other things that I was looking at that we really haven't done is um, a go around, but that's pretty much just like a touch and go, right? Oh, yeah, actually, we're supposed to do this. Uh, it's no, you just stop approaching and you start departing again, and then you say, I'm going around. So, you don't it's, have you don't ask actually, permission? No, we, no we, at some point we've done one because you have, we've done like off airports or something where you haven't uh, completed the landing, right? Just kind of approach and then decide not to land. Yeah, I mean, we did that over, that, like, well, it's like you said, don't, don't stop, just keep going. Yeah. It was busy, remember, we just kind of did a...
It was like a touch and go. Like yeah, no, a go around is just you abort your approach. Yeah. That's literally all it is. So the maneuver itself is fairly straightforward. You just but but pull, you don't ask active. permission. You just say no. I'm going around. Yes. And then then request like left traffic or something again. No, they'll tell you what to do. You just tell them I'm going around, and then you wait for them to give you an instruction. Uh, which almost always is make either left or right close traffic, and then they'll give you another landing clearance. Okay, so you don't ask. You just say going yes, around. that is correct. You do not need permission to go around. You just do it and you announce afterwards that you've, <clears throat> that you've gone around. Okay, and then the, the other thing is uh, either the running, well, running takeoff and running landing. Um, I don't know. They're not gonna, we're not going to do a running takeoff on the... Most likely not. But running, I don't know, has he ever done like a running landing on a... Not typically. I mean, the, the things to be mindful there are keep the uh, skids pointing in the direction. You yep. want to be roughly at ETL when you set down. You want the nose to be level when you set down. you got to be level. Whatever airspeed that is. Oh, so you okay. kind of come in, and usually you have a slight nose up, and then you just push the nose down. Right, ready for departure. Say frequency yeah. change. Frequency change approved for seven hundred zero. Tell you. Um, push the skids level so that you um, you set down and you you run on. Complete on station. We'd like to land taxiway Alpha. Copy two Hayward Tower. Uh, fly northbound for me, please, and make a straight in for taxiway Alpha. Roger. Northbound and then a straight in for Alpha. Copy two. Aircraft holding two eight right. I think I stepped down here. Well, the main bit thing is. Skids have to be aligned with the track and level. Yes. And the other part is not that important. Just, you don't want to roll over. Yeah. And you don't want to dig the skids in. I mean, you're not really going to dig the skids in if you're on a hard surface, but if you touch down, either nose down or nose up, you're going to bonk and it's going to rattle all over the place. Oh, yeah. And no one wants that. Uh, so it's best just to kind of come in, level everything, you just kind of ignore that you're moving and set the helicopter down, and it works like a regular set down. All right. And then once, you, once you've touched down, they just kind of slowly lower the corrective, like, yeah, exactly. like you were doing like a regular land. Um, no forward or back cycling, uh, but left and right steers you and then pedals turn you. Traffic will depart prior to arrival Cessna. They're moving into the runway now. Short approach approved. Runway 28 right. Clear to the option. Short approach, runway right. Right, right, clear. Are we Alpha. going to uh, go ahead and divert to Byron? Two Alpha oh, Kilo, okay. number two, following Cessna head on base, runway two eight left, clear for the option. Clear left, clear for the option, number two, two Alpha Kilo, traffic inside. Hey, retire, Moni 591, says Quebec, just departed Palo Alto for Hayward, information, uh, Juliet. Twenty five hundred one six Quebec Hayward Tower, continue northbound into a three mile final for runway two eight. All right. Well, to work to Byron, I still have to ask for a three mile final two eight left one six. Here, not to lose our airspeed. That's the four Bravo November contact Oakland Tower. Have a good place. Contacting Oakland Tower for Bravo November. Thank you very much. Hey, with Tower, this is Cessna 64087 at 28 left at Alpha, requesting left crosswind departure. Cessna 64087, Hayward Tower, standby, landing traffic. That wasn't the right thing. If you go back to, uh, go to nearest again. And then if you hit Livermore, now you can just hit Frequencies, oh. and you got them all there. You don't even have to direct two if you don't want. Oh. Twenty one six to back traffic. Take off. Right close traffic. All right. So how long is it gonna take us to get to Byron? Take us to get to Byron. Should I ask for transition first or no? No. I just want to hear how long it's going to take us. You can use your. You just had it up on your GPS. 32X3 traffic ahead and to your left, four miles northeast bound, 2000 indicated, type unknown. Frequency change approved, contact NorCal 125.35. 25.35, 1132X3, thank you. 
This is direct to uh, Byron. Uh. Terminal 8 Romeo Victor, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff, right crosswind departure. Proof. Okay, so it's 18 miles. Terminal 8 Romeo Victor, traffic upwind is in the area. Just finish it, and direct activate. Make sure to uh, turn outside of that aircraft. And then if you hit. Yeah, there you are. ET to next is 17 minutes. Okay, 17 minutes. I have over an hour and a yeah. quarter of fuel, so I have plenty of fuel. Cool. So I think it's safe to say we do have enough gas, and it would be in that direction. Then we talk to Livermore first to get our transition, and then we go. Let's make a right turn over to the hills. We're done with that. All right. Cool. So that's all we need. Do you want to set yourself up as if you were going there? But I like how you set it up first, just direct to Byron so you can see how long it's going to take. Oh, okay. Uh, and then you don't even have to navigate to Livermore to get their frequency. You just want to talk to them and ask for a transition, right? You can just put in their frequency to the radio and that's it. Alright, we'll head out this way. Go and we'll do a off airport landing. Cessna 3 Charlie Bravo, runway 25 right, clear for the option. Clear for the option, 25 right, 1 3 Charlie Bravo. Okay, so if I'm looking for forced landing area, um, obviously something open uh -huh. and something not hilly. Yeah, something that you could presumably auto rotate to. Hiking trails make for a good. Uh, All right. And then something good spot. On the, into the wind would be good. That would be ideal, yes. But what? Otherwise you'd go... Yeah, so if I'm like right here, we can make a right 180 to that ridge line over there, face right. into the wind. Right. And that would be a good spot. That's what I would do. Right. There's another one kind of down here underneath. This will be a slightly harder turn to make. It doesn't line up quite as nicely, but we could get there as well. The trail? Oh, oh so go for the trail. More tower, yeah. Not the, the slope. Valve, so you can see the trail works pretty well. Two, nine, yeah. nine or eight. That's Wind usually pretty flat. Six. Looks smaller when you're up. Alright. All right. Down in front of us, you can see there's a trail that comes down the hill. I'm going to turn these guys down. And then there's a trail that runs down through the valley, and the one that comes down the hill makes like this little U-turn, and then it makes a little T-Y intersection down there. Experimental eight Romeo right there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right where those little, right where those trails come together. Let's go ahead and use that as our spot. All right. I got on my SB. Thanks, sir. Okay, so I'm going to cross over midpoint, and then so I can do sort of right orbit. Okay. So I can keep my over my right shoulder. All right, lights out, top of the green. Green fuel. RP yet? If we're gonna be below 18, then yes. All right. So we're gonna do a high reconnaissance. So A is altitude. We're going to start coming down. Still looking for the O, which is obstacles. Wind, wind is... Uh, too much evidence of wind, so it's probably not too... We could look at our... Something. Go to uh, the map display. Where's the map? Hit back. And that will give you all your information, including ground speed up on top. It's our ground speed six. So it's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like that matches up pretty closely. Yeah, 445 Lamore Tower, rolling 25 right. All right, so I'm going to drop down to around 500, which is at somewhere around here. The wind obstacles, turbulence, um, not too much wind, but we have to kind of be mindful of 
the uh, ridge there. Okay. And uh, forced uh, forced landing. I just continue along the trail, the fur trail. Entry exit uh, along the trail. Okay. Uh, Test uh, zero whiskey hotel, runway two five. Landing. Uh, and do that slow, steep. Obstacles are concerned. Some rocks here. Something sticking out. The trail there. Yeah, there's like a little trail marker. Oh, it's a trail marker. Right. So, try to go beyond that. Oh, looks like we can see some wind here. In the grass. Clearland number two behind Cessna, right down the base. Cap 445, um, clear I'd say if we're going to do a set down, let's go up to the trail. Yeah, there. so I would, that would go to the trail. Yeah, so you have a little post, just take yourself up far enough that the tail isn't even going to hit it. Like right here, you're already far enough away. There's no chance it would touch. Right, so uh, if I was going to set down, I'd come over here. Yeah, so come over here, come in line with the slope. So put your, or uh, with the trail, I mean. So put your tail over that middle of the cleared area. And then we'll do a set down here. And it might be a little bit of a wonky slope. We're not perfectly parallel to the hill, but it'll be good enough. Of a 
the slope. Okay, so we would check right, our nice. skids, make sure it's there. Yep, everything is looking good. Right. This is a maximum performance takeoff. So. Yeah, and we should have decent power in this helicopter. So let's see if we can uh, see what we can get out of it. All right. So normally I would do, you know, check my skids, make sure yep. it's clear. I do my <laughs> my top of the green, 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 repeat down, and uh, I do my mag checks, do my power checks. So 22, so I've got 22. 27, 23, 6, all right. Like a slope. Yeah, remember you didn't use a ton of cyclic on the way so down, slow. so you don't need that much on the way up. Oh, this could be a tiny little slope there. All right, so I just kind of smooth up. There you go, not too fast. Just let it climb. It's going to give you the power, just kind of let it gently rise. Boom, we're well clear. Now it'll accelerate. All right, nice job. Good thing. Go and climb up and show me some vortex ring state. All right. Just one three Charlie Bravo, the more tower, right down, correction, right close track is group, runway two five right. Clear for takeoff. All right, more text when you say you want to be mindful that we would need to be at least a thousand feet. That is correct. For the PCS, you want to have a uh, thousand feet remaining AGL by the time you recover. All right, so we're a, well, actually the valley, when we landed, it was like 1,400. <laughs> but uh, top of the ridge, we're going to... Yeah, we can just go over the valley. We'll go over this valley. Okay. I mean, hold for runway two five right at the line. Uh -huh. At the line two five right one three Charlie Bravo. Cessna four four five Hello. cap four four five. Would you like flight following? <laughs> cap four four five. Would like flight following uh, back down to retail view, and we're going to shoot. Three thousand should do it. Uh, GPS approach there. Yeah, we don't. We wouldn't go higher than that because our Bravo shelf was at four thousand. Into the wind. All right, going to give us some carb heat here. Cat four four Level out 15. Uh, ahead and to your right, two miles, 3,300 indicated, northwest bound. We have another aircraft traffic. Ahead and to your right, at uh, four miles, northeast bound, 3,500 indicated, type unknown. Uh, Cap 445, we're looking. Lidmore Tower, Skyline 71809, ready to go 25 right sequence, right downwind. Very nice. Test 13 Charlie Bravo, right close traffic is approved. Room 25. Is too much? Or? No, that was perfect. I was, you can use a little bit more power here, 20 inches. You got right. another, at least two or three inches to pull there. All right. Um, but no, that looked really good. Nice job. Okay. All right, speed's looking good. Let's level out here so we don't climb too much higher. And then while we're up here, we may as well also have an engine failure. There we go. Cap 445, 
Watch traffic. Ahead to your right, two miles northeast on 3000. Watch that RP when you bring back cyclic. There you go. Now just again, because you're done pulling back cyclic. Roger. Contact NorCal departure freak. NorCal approach frequency 125.35. There you go. Let it make a smooth adjustment. Nice. I'm going for this right ahead of me. Okay. Go ahead and continue. Livermore Tower, Skyline 9 Are we going to make it? Right, we'd like a right downwind. Go faster. Yeah, that glide extends as you pick yeah. up speed. There you go, so that's how you make those adjustments. Clear for takeoff, right downwind departure is approved. Alright, nice job. Correct for RPM, bring the power back in. Don't pull collective yet. Oh. We're still in an auto rotation. There you go, now you can pull. Don't pull back on the cyclic though, just collective. Alright, looks like we would have hit that, no problem. If you ever see you're coming in short, just push the speed forward so it extends that glide really nicely. Okay. Okay, And on the power recovery, uh, don't pull collective until the needles have rejoined, and then climb with the collective, not the cyclic. Oh, okay. Alright, there goes to make a right turn here. Alright. Cessna 1980, Papa, contact NorCal frequency. 330, Roger, turn right, attack away Delta, cross runway to the right, and then Uh, I'll tell you what, go ahead and take me back to Hayward. I want to go to spot Charlie. Alright. Uh, 330, have an I'll get your ADIS plugged in for you. Approach runway 2 left and you, sign up runway 28. No sign runway 1 obstruction crane at Cindy Hayward, space check. No for more information. Advise on this contact, you have information, Kilo. Airspeed. Data report information, Kilo, time 1954 Zulu, wind 3108, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 16, dew point 7, altimeter 3001. Visual approach runway 2 left and you, sign up runway 28. No sign runway 1 obstruction crane at Cindy Hayward, space check. No for more information. Advise on this contact, you have information, Kilo. Information. Yeah, key, well, should I just say I'm five miles? We're about. Farther. We're about six. I'm going to say six and a half. Let's see if I'm right. Here's Hayward. We're at 6.9. The kilo. Yeah. Hayward Tower, helicopter 479 or Sierra Hotel. Six miles to the northeast at 2,200. Inbound for spot Charlie with Kilo. Talk up the 479er Sierra Hotel, Hayward hey, Tower. Make straight in for taxiway Zulu. Straight in for taxiway Zulu, 479er Sierra Hotel. Hayward hey, Tower, Conquest 1223 Bravo, holding short, 28 left Alpha 1, IFR release. Conquest 1223 Bravo, Hayward hey, Tower, hold for release. Well, straight hold in, for release. I'm going to do a right. I'm gonna do right base. Pretty much, yeah. Just take yourself I mean, right at the base of the airport. Oh, okay. We did tell them northeast, which is where we are. I said northeast. Yeah. Suppose if you said east, he may have gotten confused by that. But we did say northeast. Oh well. Not a uh, problem. Bravo, expect about a three to four minute delay per no crowd. Roger, two three Bravo. He's not gonna do engine failure over here like this. No. Probably be over in the hills somewhere. Most likely. Or, or could it be past 
I could even be at the airport. But shouldn't be over a congested area. I guess that parking lot's a bad idea because all the light poles, right? There's lots of room in between them. Oh, you think? That nice little, uh... Just going between, down yeah. the roads. Nice little lanes. Yeah, we don't take up much space. Only 25 feet, 2 inches, right? Yeah. What about the length? No, that's not. I, don't, I actually don't know the length off the top of my head. No, I mean the length of what you need. They're not the overfly the runway. Spot Charlie, clear land. Clear land. Four seven nine two hell. Do not overfly the runway. Four seven nine two. Well, it all depends on uh, on how good we are at our auto rotations, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, at my skill level, no. <laughs> it depends on how accurate we are too. We don't actually need a lot. Like how much time you actually spend within. The flare. Okay, I could make it to that field. Yeah. Oh, You'd except, want to hang a little except bit. Except there's a pot of. Well, let's see. It's kind of hard to tell where the power lines go. They're over on the right side. Oh, of it. well, that's kind of tricky. There's okay, lots of room on the left. Okay, but you're right. You don't want to hit the power lines. Yeah, I didn't no see fun. the wires at first, so. Yeah. Gotta watch out good. for those. That would be a bad day. Yeah, I'll go for the pool over there. Yeah, that would be a good one once it keeps us mostly in line with the wind. And I go for that field right there. We won't make that one yet. I won't make that one? No. Oh. Oh. Now I'd make it. Yeah, now we could make it. Okay. Put in. Contest 1223 Bravo, runway 28 left, full length, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 28 left, 23 Bravo. Welcome up to 90 Hotel, traffic departing, runway 28 left, Conquest. Clear with traffic, 4790 Hotel. It's gonna be a minute, he's gonna taxi around from the hold show markers. Great, let's see. on six mic off, they retire hold for release. Should be a couple more minutes for NorCal. We'll hold short, six mic off. Our governor stopped working. A little bit low right here. Six mic off. Helicopter landing on a taxiway parallel with the runway, runway 28 left, full line, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 28 left, November 6th. Bring that our cam up to the green for me. Thank you. Alright, nice. Go give me a set down. Six mic off. New departure frequency will be one three five point six five. Oh, the lift increases when you roll the RPM up there. Yeah. All right. On the way down, let the horn go off. What's that? Don't, don't let, let the don't yeah. let the horn go. Off. Yeah.
All right, nice job. Suddenly the governor started working again. Yeah. Uh, Look at that. Uh, cool. Uh, just aim for the, just right around the bottom half of the green, uh, but don't let it get too much lower than that. So I'm going to have to, like, if I were to take off with the governor off. You wouldn't. We ever do that? I, we ever are you allowed to take that? off with the governor off? No, but I mean, would we ever practice that? No. You and I won't. Don't worry about that. Yeah, because you wouldn't anyways. All right. If we are the emergency procedures land as soon as practical. Not land as soon as practical if we take off again. Five sixty-five. Good day. Six mic call. All right. Let's go ahead and pick on up. Go and show me a hover auto. So we're looking for heading within 10 degrees and relatively cushion set down and not a lot of lateral drift. Um, you have all the controls. Just go and get yourself all set, comfortable. You're welcome to go whenever you want. All right. We'll count it down. All right, cover auto in three. A little bit too uh, early too on the collective, yeah, too fast. Uh, but you did a really nice job with the heading. Oh, we'll do just one more. Go and bring that cyclic back. Set yourself up whatever altitude you want. And whenever you're ready, feel free to count now. That one felt a lot better. Nice job with the heading. Nice uh, set down. I think I pulled a that little fast it. too. Anyway, that was a little a little early. Yeah, you were lower, so it didn't actually make a difference. Uh, the lower you are, the sooner you're going to pull. And that altitude was enough. I, 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 yeah. I think I would not yeah, go too perfect. high. I mean, it's better not to go too high. Yeah, yeah, about a foot to a foot and a half is, I think, the. Okay, like he'll be okay. With yeah, you. perfect. All right, looking great. Let's go ahead and pick up, and then if you would, go ahead and show me a straight in auto rotation.
Hayward Tower, Sports 1 9 or 9 or 5, Whiskey 2 9 run up or 2 A run up, ready for departure, right crosswind departure. Very lights on top of the green, 3 in the green, fuel. Mm -hmm. Hayward 9 or 9 or 5, Whiskey Level Hayward Tower. Out here. Either right cross the departure below one. I don't know, it's 550. 650 is kind of maximum. 2-8 right. uh, left, 9 or 5 Whiskey. Nine or five whiskey make a right cross and departure below 1,500 and east of three crosses wrong with 28 left at Alpha. Clear for takeoff. Okay, below 1,500 till east of three crosses. Uh, anyway, 28 left, clear for takeoff. Nine or five whiskey. Are you supposed to roll into the D10 or no? Not really. You don't have to. Okay, just hold it down. Yeah. Sometimes it'll try and sneak back up on you. Um, but if that's the case, just give it a little nudge down again. See how it tries to come back up, so just roll down again. Too high, I would say. Yeah, it's a little bit too high on the flare. Um, and then we want to um, dial in the RPM control just a little bit. Um, you're overcorrected and pulled too much, then you drop the RPM down and set the horn off. We don't want the horn to go off. Okay, let's do that again. Yeah. Number nine or five whiskey, traffic two miles east of Cal State inbound to open north field is a king year descent at 2,400. Uh, looking for traffic, nine or five whiskey. No correction, 9 or 5 whiskey correction, that's a beach jet. Uh, still looking for traffic, 9 or 5 whiskey. Over 9 or 5 whiskey traffic, just off the right hand side, 4 miles. Hey, Retailer, helicopter 4790 hotel, request left traffic spot, Charlie. Helicopter 90 hotel, make left close traffic spot, Charlie, clear for takeoff, clear to land. Clear to takeoff, clear to land, left traffic spot, Charlie, 4790. Five whiskey traffic. Here's about to be a factor. Contact North Cal departure. Stay five. Uh, North Cal departure. Thank you. Have a good day. Hey, we're tower November seven three three. Follow the vehicle. Pull the right at Bravo. Right, right cross departure below fifteen hundred east of three crosses. Golden Gate five forty eight. Here, tower hold for Ruiz. Golden Gate five forty eight. Hold short for Ruiz. Number seven three three. Pause Victor. Here, tower make a right cross and departure as requested. Runway two eight. Right quick for takeoff.
That's a three pod vector traffic, two miles east of Cal State. Inbound for Oakland North Coast at Embraer, it's in now 3,500. Look for traffic, three pod vector. Watch the attitude of the nose. As you bring it up, the RPM will come up. There you go, but nice correction. There you go, slide down. Nice, this is feeling better. Now a little up, now watch the altitude, let it smooth flare. There we go. Nice. That felt a lot better. My one critique, and you'll see it when you watch the video, is you let the nose drop as you enter, yeah. and that's why your RPM tanks. Yeah. Uh, if you give a little bit backside, if you keep that nose up, um, everything will sit a lot steadier, and it'll um, it'll go smoother from the from powered flight, not a rotation. All right, looking good. For the sake of practice, since we talked about it earlier, let's do our oh, yeah, running takeoff, running landing. Um, do you need a, do you want a demonstration on that? Yeah. Oh, I have the controls. Yeah, okay, you have the controls. I have the controls. We'll come up here so we don't scrape up our yellow paint too bad. And also so that we miss the little blue doodads on either side of us. Uh, we'll see what light on the skids feels like. Feels like maybe we can do it with a 19. That should be good. Oh, okay. Um, so this is in case we don't have enough power to get up off the ground into a hover. Um, we can do our running takeoff, get ourselves an ETL, and then up off the ground. Okay. Kind of the same thing on the way. We don't have enough power to hover, so we have to work our way in ETL from forward flight down onto the ground. Hey, we're tower. Helicopter 90 zero. Tower request left traffic. Spot Charlie. Helicopter 9 0 Hotel, make left coast traffic, spot Charlie, clear for takeoff, clear to land. Spot Charlie, clear for takeoff, clear to land, 9 0 Hotel. Alright, so we're going to use pedals hey, to stay straight, and forward sight just to start us moving. We'll get going. It takes a bit of forward sight, you can feel. And we'll just go, 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 and then once we hit ETL. Number 640, up and away. Hey, we're tower, safe position. Uh, that's it. That's okay. pretty much the whole thing. From here we'll get up, we'll pull, and climb into the traffic pattern. That's my 087. That's 087, enter left face, runway 28 left. That will just do a quick look. Left face, 28 left, 640. Lights all out, heat is all green, have fuel, full carb heat, and we're gonna do the same thing where we come in and put, use no more than 19 inches in our landing. So we'll get all set up, rolled out here. Down, collective, right, pedal, set up for our nice shallow approach. And again, we'll just kind of choose the, the left lane, so to speak, so that we miss all the little blue bumps. Now bring ourselves in, slowing ourselves down. We don't want to be crazy fast, because the faster we go, the more wear we put on the skid shoes, which isn't the end of the world, but they only last for so long. We're just kind of bringing ourselves in. Feel the shakes of ETL. That's great. And then before we touch, just down to level. And then a little down collective. That's it. All right. Yeah, you do put the nose down. Seems like you put the nose down quite a bit. Yeah, it takes a little bit, because it all, R22 tends to sit nose high in a hover. She just got to push it forwards to level. You felt we did that in just like the last three feet. Um, so you don't accelerate that much. All right. You have the controls? Oh, yeah, I have controls. You have the controls. Go ahead and pick us up. Bring we us to uh, where we started. Frequency, 135.65. Only two-way left. Clear for takeoff. 35.65. And we can take off two-way left. Take 
you see our nice little uh, skid marks <laughs> there. Nice. All right, so no more than 19 inches. All right. Go ahead and make your radio call. Hey, we're calling helicopter 4790 hotel. Request left traffic to spot Charlie. Helicopter 90 hotel, standby for departing aircraft. Standby. Lesson 087, traffic departing by arrival of the Challenger if they will report that traffic inside when they get airborne. We'll keep our eyes open, 34087. Wind check. 27010. 64087, we have the party jet in sight. 64087, Roger, runway 2 left, clear for the option, make left, close traffic, caution, wait for everyone. Clear for the option, 2 right left, 64087. Okay, caution, wait, turn, we'll see. Challenger, correction, Golden Gate 548. Yeah, caution, wait, turn, you don't wait, you would just Departure, go. Departure, Golden Gate 548. Um, some, if they're taking off from the same runway, so you have to wait sometimes. Depends on their rules. Helicopter 9 Sierra Hotel, caution, wait, turn, for that Challenger that is departed. Spot Charlie, clear for takeoff, clear land. Caution, wait, turbulence, clear for takeoff, clear land. Left traffic, spot Charlie, 4792. Oh, ready to go. About the 93 Hotel. Traffic inbound for pattern work is Cessna, two miles south of the field. Well, we're looking for traffic. 4792 Hotel. Let's say caution for traffic. Okay, so... There you go. Start pushing forward on the cyclic. There you go. And no more collective. Just pedal, stay straight, left, right, cyclic, steers you more forward on the cyclic. Pick up that speed. There you go, faster. There you go, the faster you go, the more performance you're going to get. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Not too hard. Just take some forward cyclic to get yourself going. And you can pull power here and we'll climb up into the traffic pattern. Very good. So we'll set up for our shallow approach to running and landing. All right. All right, so lights on top of the green, three in the green, fuel. You're doing good. You can keep the speed for a little bit longer if you want. Pull a little power. Feel like we're coming in. We're going to be landing before we even reach the next taxiway. Remember, we're still aiming for down by spot, Charlie. Oh, keep pulling. We don't want to land before passing this intersection at least. There you go, 
level the nose. A little more forward cyclic. More forward cyclic. You can pull a little bit of collective to help cushion that and make it softer. That's the idea. <laughs> okay, uh, well. just, just use a little collective to slow down your rate of set, just like you're doing a regular. It should look like the same sight picture as doing a regular set down. Oh, okay. All right. What do you mean? The one well, like in terms of speed down. of closure onto the ground. So it's not bouncy. Oh, okay. You can do another oh, so what, so what did quick I do little, uh, here, just pick us up real quick. Then get us up into like a little mini air taxi and then we'll, uh, yeah, it's kind of repeat. There you go. So kind of come down. Listen, zero eight seven, runway two eight left, clear for the option. There you go. Walk VFR. Nose flat and then just slow on the ground. Clear the option. Stick towards your right. There you go. And down collective to the rake. That felt good. Like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nice job. Looks like about time to call it a day, which is good because we've covered pretty much everything that we want to. Okay. Good. Everything's looking nice and good. Let's ask for either left traffic or air taxi back, whatever you prefer. Uh, well, air. Good air taxi back. Sure. Hey, we're Tower Helicopter 4790 Hotel. Request air taxi back to uh, air ta uh, taxi with Zulu Beam Radio. You can just say Meridian, because oh, that's, that's where we want to go. Let's go ahead and pick up. Helicopter 4790 Hotel, air taxi to Meridian Vizula. Air taxi to Meridian Vizula, 990 Hotel. Alright. Hey, we're Tower, it's us at 9016, Alpha 10, East, with Kilo. Just a little bit of a tail, not a lot, maybe five or six knots. Last call was Cessna 9161 Alpha, full stop, with Kilo. Five Sierra Tango is with you. Number 9161 Alpha, hey, retire, enter right base for runway 28 left, report Cal State. Hover, Cal State. 28 left, call Cal State, Cessna. Hey, we're Tower Baron 155 Sierra Tango is with you. Baron 155 Sierra Tango, hey, retire, is verify your on track approach? That is affirmative, 5 Sierra Tango. Baron 5 Sierra Tango, how will this approach terminate? Full stop, 5 Sierra Tango. Baron 5 Sierra Tango, Roger, from runway 28 left, clear to land. Clear to land. Put yourself left, down close to the ground tango. before you blow all the way down, especially if a little bit of a tailwind. There we go. Alright, we'll head on in and park. From the front this way? Sure. Same place? Yeah. slower. There you go. Here, let's slide a little bit this way so there's plenty of room for our tail when we turn. Number two, following Baron, three and a half mile final run with two eight left, clear for the option. Number two, two eight left, uh, clear for the option, looking for traffic.
traffic at site, 64087, we'll plan to follow. Roger, thanks. Lost procedures, um, that's not a maneuver, do you think he might, he would ask about something like that? Usually that kind of gets bundled in with, um, oral the, questions. He might ask you about it in the oral, or he, they're kind of, it's under the same section as the diversion. Oh, okay. Uh, but at the very least, you know, kind of know what you would do. I just say climb, climb, communicate, confess, comply kind of thing. Conserve. Just climb up. Yeah, climb, circle, look conserve. Look and see where you can figure out where uh, you yeah, are. See, yeah, see if you can see where you are. Um, you'll look, you know, just look at your sectional, call the nearest box for NorCal, ask him for a vector to the airport you want to go to. Don't turn that one off, otherwise we'll lose your intercom. Um, turn the radio down. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm probably not going to get lost because I have a GPS, but I guess if That's that, true. In theory, it's possible. If the GPS the stops working. Down, yeah, that went dead. Yeah. Use your sectional, navigate off of that. Uh, here comes our two minutes. Oh yeah, it sounds like you know the steps for what to do if you get no, you're, uh, you're lost. Um, it's more or less he'll just kind of ask you. I mean, it's not a maneuver. Yeah. Um, he wants to you know how to use GPS, which you mostly do. Um, you're pretty well with it. You got your nearest. You I'm got map. Practice that more. You got same thing, but with the sectional instead. Um. You did direct two just fine. You know how to use the nearest function. You can also um, focus on here on that. And I go to airport info to view that or direct two. Activate to direct two. Wait a minute, if you poked on. If you uh, see the airport on the map and you click on the airport, then that highlight the airport information. It does some. You can see this is what it comes up with. It gives you field elevation. It tells you the avgas price. Okay, cool. Um, and then, but it doesn't actually give you frequencies or anything like that immediately. You can click on airport info down at the bottom, and then you get all that fun stuff. Okay, so that comes up. Okay. And you click on this, right? Yeah, exactly. You got frequencies, you got runway, you got info. You zoom in on it really close, it'll give you the airport diagram.